What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a mailbox replacement uh, post. A mailbox post replacement. So I get a uh, email, text, or however they get to me. The customer was able to go out and buy her own post. All right, this is hers here. You can see the base is all just sitting in some kind of a bracketed shot. We're gonna remove the mailbox. She's gonna reuse it. I'm gonna reuse the base under here, the wood. We're gonna set this guy in concrete, and we're gonna replace the, uh, put the mailbox right back on that shelf there. All right, so we got the trailer. Always put a cone out, kid. Put maybe two, so cars can see you. You never know. And again, when you're doing these jobs and you don't have a hose, have a bucket of water. I got water in that little bucket. We got our bag of concrete, post hole digger, you know, the whole nine yards, whatever you need screws drills whatever you need this is very convenient to have if you're going to go out and start a handyman business i highly suggest you get all the tools put them in the truck van or get a trailer because when i first started i would have to go back and forth because there was always something i missed all right let's get to it we're going to rip that thing out of the ground we're going to dig the hole set the new post throw some concrete make sure it's plumb let it set and then we'll put the mailbox on top all right after you remove the mailbox and that little, it's like a base that goes under, it'll be mounted back on top of there. We're gonna dig this out a little bit, set this thing in the ground, put some concrete water, level, making sure it's plumb, I mean. And then we'll put that platform back on top of the shelving and we'll screw that mailbox. If you look along the base, it's got holes on both sides. That's pretty much it. Once you get the hole dug, you don't have to go super deep. It's only a mailbox. You want to grab it. Right, you want to put it in the hole. Kind of want to eyeball it with the other ones. It's pretty level. All right, so we're deep enough. We're going to fill this hole with concrete, pour some water in it. We're gonna make sure it's plumb, both sides, both ways, left, right, front to back. All right, once it sets up, we'll put the platform back on top of here and the mailbox on top of that. Get a rake and rake this dirt out nice and neat around the base, and we're good to go. Let's grab that concrete. All right, what you wanna do before you put your concrete in, get yourself one of these, it's a bullet level. You want to hold it against the post and you're going to throw some rocks in there just to brace it and once you brace it up then we'll pour the uh, cement in all right once you get it in and you got it wedged in with some rocks check it for plumb you want to make sure you're in the middle side to side front to back pour in a little concrete Pour the water and let the water drain. Get a stick, poke at it a little bit for the air to get through. We're gonna fill it up more with concrete after this settles a little bit. And then we're gonna to top it off with a little bit of topsoil. When you get to the top, you wanna to kinda of pyramid your concrete away from the post so the water doesn't sit and give it a chance to rot. You want it to run away from that post at the bottom. Once you set the post in concrete, I put a little piece of flagstone, I wedged it in there. I'm gonna take this rake here, and I'm gonna rake that dirt after I pyramid that up a little bit and make it look nice and neat. Maybe they wanna put some flowers down here by the mailbox. Once the post is in, you wanna take the platform and put it right back on top. You just screw it right down from the top up here. And then that mailbox is gonna fit over this and the screws are gonna go into the sides to hold it down. But you're still going to let this thing set. It's still, it's not super solid, so I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll redo this. All right, so that's the quick and easy. This is, by the way, what I pulled out of the ground. That rusted old spike. I don't know if you can see it in the sun. We'll get rid of that. And this is it. This is how you replace a fence, uh, not a fence, replace a mailbox post. Make sure it's plumb both sides. Looks better than the other two. Maybe I'll pick up those other two. You never know. Make the base look pretty neat. If I had seed, I'd throw it down, but I ran out. It's always a good idea to have a little bag of grass seed on the truck. Sprinkle it down. That goes a long way, believe it or not. And you can get the cheap stuff. 
All right, what do we got to do now, cuz? Yo, Sonny. Sonny? You in this mess, Sonny? What are you doing, kid? Come on, Sonny. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the video if this helped you out at all. Share it with a friend, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, yeah, Sonny. Yo, Sonny. Where are you? Sonny? You up there? Sonny? Sonny?